So last, last year, year was pretty good. Yeah, last year was really good for Ubisoft. They did. They did. They, they had the announcements. They had the coverage. They had the gameplay. They had the rabbits and the <laughs> they Mario. had Mario. And you know, when you have the Mario, you have the money. You have the money. When you get the money, you get the good conference reviews. Um, yeah, we didn't have Aisha Tyler this time. Uh, last time, and I think that worked out very well. I for think them. they can just handle themselves. They've I been doing they, real. Yeah, I think they've grown up. I think, I think they've gone past that. I think what's really interesting is that they they really had to push themselves last time because we know last year they were almost getting bought out by Vivendi. Yeah, uh, and now they actually are partly owned, very small amount, owned by Tencent, but they're also now staved off from being purchased by Vivendi for like a five year period. So we got ourselves a good buyback right by here. Um, and this is, so they can't slow down, but that doesn't mean they need to show everything they got all at once now. So maybe they're going to hold more things back, but at the same time, I don't think they are. It's kind of hard to tell. They're, they're very, they're very, very good last year. Um, this year, it's a matter of whether they can deliver the goods that they've revealed to us before. Yes, and uh, just glancing at the list we have in front of us, there's a lot of sequels and a lot of additional contents for yeah. games coming out. First things first, to get out of the way, Just Dance. We okay. know it's going to be there. Yeah, they're, they're, they're going to have a dance like, mode. Dance I don't even what animal will be dancing on stage. I think two years ago we had a giraffe. Was Just Dance on year. the Switch? Uh, no, not yet. Well, there you go. That's their big announcement. They made Just Dance on the Switch. Switch. The, uh, I, I'm, I'm guessing a tiger. I mean, it's a tiger who's going to dance on stage. What do you think? Uh, we had a panda last year. We had a draft. Are you okay, Tony? No. <laughs> I think we're going to... Let's not talk about Just, Just Dance, Dance any longer. Okay. So we're going to have additional content for For Honor. Oh, that, 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 yeah, for For Honor. That wasn't because I said For Twice. It's because the game is called For Honor. Um, yeah, For Honor was shown two years ago. It's actually done very well for itself from a content-wise, and I think keeping that game as a service growing is going to be important to them. And a new character, or yeah. a new campaign, or yeah. something like that. Or... For Honor Two, For Honor Two might be a teaser, but I don't. I don't think we. You think had, it's just going to be more content? I don't think we've had any discussion of there being a sequel. The the director actually no longer works at Ubisoft. So let's make it happier. Fire Cry Five is getting content. Yes, but there, we already know about it, so I don't know if we're going to see it. In fact, they didn't really do any DLC discussion last time, so I don't know if we're going to see this stuff on stage. But they so did. then why are we talking about this? Okay, well let's get to the stuff that's brand new then. Like. Wait, the crew two is not new. We but it last the year. beta is is out now, or so, or, or it's coming out. But they it's coming out like soon, isn't it? Like but, this month. You know they're probably they're probably gonna get found footage of people playing the crew and posting it on but, their uh, conference. Oh yeah, yeah, like oh man, yeah, yeah. It's, I think I think that'll get people's attention for it. I think the crew two they showed a lot last year. They had a, they they had this tendency last year of showing a teaser trailer or it seems like a general trailer, discuss it, and then gameplay trailer. And I think they're going to kind of do a similar method this time around. Uh, but for games that we've already known about, I think just a trailer is going to do it, do it justice, just the same. But we did know about the announcement of The Division 2. Yes. From The Division, like, Dead podcast team. thing. I don't know why they did that. Like, oh, by the way, we're making the sequel. It's going to be at E3. How are you, how you doing? It's, yeah, they just announced yeah. the game. They, I don't understand it. Uh, we don't know if it takes place in New York. We don't know anything about it. Yeah. Is it a continuation? Is it a is it like a, a spin-off? Spin spin well, not a spin-off. Well, it's, it's a sequel. It's a sequel. But does it take place concurrently with the first game? Does it take place afterwards? After, does it go it, beyond? Does it transfer scope? your character? Yeah, it's... it's we don't know around. anything about it, so guess what? We're going to know everything about well, it. We're going <laughs> <We're gonna> to know <laughs> absolutely everything about it at this It's going to be a long night. discussion. It might even be their big game. You think it's going to be their game? It's going to be this year, I'm sure of it. Looking at the rest of the list, no, it's not going to be the big game. <laughs> but it's probably going to come it's out. It's going to be one of the big games. It's going to be coming I'm, 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 I'm thinking first quarter of next year. You don't think it's coming out this year? No. no. Okay, okay. No. Your, your brain doesn't think so. No, I don't think so. Okay, what about Beyond Good and Evil 2, though? So we know Michelle Ansel really loved creating Beyond Good and Evil way back when. We're talking 15 years ago. Back on the Back PS2. on the PS2, GameCube, and Xbox. And then... Uh, he worked on Raymond series, kind of trying to build that, but he never really got his break. And then we saw him on stage after telling us it wasn't coming. He walked on stage last year to unveil after very a, emotional. a very emotional about this world of Beyond Good and Evil 2, which is actually a prequel, and I don't know what to think about it. But the trailer... The reason we don't know what to think about it because it looks like it's turning. they're, they're trying to turn it into an open-world game. That was the, the, the discussion was they're turning it into an open-world experience. They're essentially Ubisofting it by taking a concept that was more of a, of a narrative-based game, 
like the first one and saying, oh, we're making a prequel, therefore we don't have to worry about the ramifications of the story we made already, and we're going to tell you this cool backstory that we wanted to bring in, kind of like when you create a story, you have all this background, he wants to do that. Anyway, and so... And we're turning into an open world exploration game. And so we don't know anything else about it. If it's going to... I don't even know how far along it is. Like, we, uh, yeah. re we really have not seen anything of this game. Well, there's been like little alpha blips here and there, but no full gameplay trailers. I think we're going to see it this time. I, how many F-bombs will be dropped from this trailer? If, if that character is in it, I'm guessing at least six. I think he's the... <laughs> I think he's yeah. the main character, you think? He's yeah, the main character. I think he might be the main character. Okay, then, then, yeah, definitely six, at least. Um... But uh, it looks like it's got a very gritty attitude to it. Uh, it's definitely different from the reboot, that, or rather the re uh, the, second, the game they were going to show off last time. I guess they decided to just focus on a prequel first and see where it goes. Uh, it looks very beautiful from, a, from an art it's standpoint. Art style is um, really good. I'd love to see how the gameplay stands up to it, and I'm hoping that it's probably going to be like their big last game, you think? You think it's going to be the last game like last time? Or do you think it'll be like somewhere in the middle? Um, the I don't think it'll be their big drop, because it's, it's already... It's, no. it's already known. So you think at least it'll start the show, you think? Why are you putting the hard questions on me? <laughs> I think it'll be in the middle somewhere. It'll be like a good like midpoint. Like, okay, guys, let's talk about this for a second. We know about it. Let's get into it. Yes. Okay. Meanwhile, we don't know really about it, but Splinter Cell, we... Discussed that it's going to be probably at Microsoft. Yeah, it's going to. I think it's going to be at the very least revealed at Microsoft. So they could start the conference with Splinter Cell. Yeah, they'll actually have gameplay footage. They'll start off with a gameplay demo of the game and talk about the game and what they have to do with What's it. What's special about and it. And talk about the loot boxes that are going to be in it and and the, the game as a service element to it and the battle royale components. No, but seriously, they're not going to talk about that. They're going to talk about the, the gameplay and how they're bringing it back and they're expanding the concept of Splinter Cell to a wider world rather than a linear kind of experience. It'll be like Hitman was, where it's like you're given this location and this person and then you're just told to get there. In fact, I think that. it'll take the Hitman formula that's what i was well. that's what i was getting at more or even more open than that because in hitman it's like a fixed location like it's a pretty big location but this is going to be open like world open world splinter cell that's what i'm that's what i'm going to i am going to say no i'm going to say it's going to be level based okay so they're different we'll, we'll see yeah we're different we'll see how it goes we're not just we just don't look alike we think differently uh, something that is different is trans yeah, last year they had his Elijah Wood video where they're like, we found out that there's some cool like way you to live. You can VR, you can live fears of other people and the, blah, 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 the people blah. that, and then like the end is like you know you're completely safe, you're completely safe, and then they say transference. And you're like, oh, well obviously it's not gonna be. You're not it's safe. a horror game. It's a horror game. But they didn't show anything. Yeah, and so it said spring 2018, yet it's not out now. So I'm guessing the game got delayed. And they're gonna they're gonna show a trailer, again. another trailer here that actually shows the gameplay footage. That would be nice, but they're probably not going to. They're gonna be like, oh, you're gonna have to play it to find out. Ooh. Ooh. But it's obviously a PC game. Uh, maybe they have a PSVR announcement for it too. Yes, well, I, I would expect. Yeah, really I don't think we're gonna see too much of it though. I think they're gonna keep that one kind of as a lower key title out there. Speaking of announcements from last year that hasn't been seen in a while, uh, Starlink Battle for Atlas was shown last year. That was that game with the little ships on your controller that you could actually you actually had a module. Yep. So Rudy. with the falling out of Toys of Life, we've been contemplating whether or not they're actually going to keep doing they're actually going to go forward with this product. Um, they did say you could get things digitally. Yeah, they did say that before. So they could still push it forward, but again, we're not sure what they're going to do about it, if they are going to decide to do that, or they're going to sell the games in packs or something. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I, I don't know. I think, I think, it, I think, uh, I mean, Based on a leak involving Nintendo's uh, floor plans, that game is one of the games there. So it still, so exists. It still, it still exists, that's as much as we know. It looked pretty far along when we saw it last year, but they even then they said it was coming in the fall of 2018. So they had definitely had prepared it to be ready. They probably will they, they'll probably do what you, what you said. They'll probably have digital purchases for the content, but they'll also have physical versions of that too, which has download codes and whatnot. So it's going to be allowing people to play without it and those who want to play with it. So that's going to be a big curious part of what I want to see how it goes because it looked really nice from some perspective. I'm I'm just curious to see just how many components are there and how much they cost. <laughs> the cost is going to be a big one. Though both those things are going to be problematic and that that could cause make this game soar or sink. So speaking of soaring or sink, well more sinking, but uh, Skull and Bones, another game that was a new IP that was shown last year, has been MIA. So well, they said or they've already announced that it's coming out next year, next next fiscal year. So, so after, be, after March, so of it next could still year. be out before the next E3. Um, 
as far as game content, maybe we're actually going to show us taking on a giant kraken, or yeah. actually show us new locations yeah. and maybe new vehicles. Of all the reveals they had, that was the one that I was least, that was most, that I lost the well, buzz on. People really liked um, Black Flag. Black Flag's uh, components. Uh, components. Thank you. Know, you're just I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm just filling your sentences for you. So let me talk. Uh, <laughs> so Skull and Bones was really neat. But then they kind of, the way they showed it, kind of like they pushed too hard. Like, oh, here's a here's Seal, a song from Seal, sung really, uh, really calmly, melancholy. And then we're going to it's have not what I would have said at all. Uh, but <laughs> and then they go off and show a gameplay demo, talk about it, and then show another teaser trailer involving a kraken. It was way too much, and I think people realized that the game was never involving anything other than riding uh, riding this ship. And it didn't really come off right. I think that, that, that maybe they that they read that from the audience reactions, and they decided to retool it from the ground up and try and turn it into something else. Maybe maybe they'll make it like uh, Sea of Thieves. Oh wait, no, no, they're not going to make it like Sea of Thieves. No, <laughs> uh, the game is still going to be about you being in ships, shooting things, but they're going to change it up and gamify it a bit more. I think is what they're going to try and do. One game that I'm hoping we'll see more of is something from UbiArt. Yeah, it's been a couple of years since UbiArt had something significant. Um, they had the, I mean, the, the, there was the, there was the Star Child or something like that. Uh, uh, Child of Light, Child of Light, Child of Light, and there was there was the game that was based in the World War One, and there was a lot of there was some good UB art content, but we haven't seen one really push to the next level of it. I would like to see it's an Xbox One X, an Xbox One X gritty and two D art content. But we know we're gonna see Assassin's Creed Odyssey. That was announced. Not, maybe, kind of. Um, yes, there was Assassin's Creed. That was also from the leak. Mm -hmm. But apparently there was a further leak that happened like a day ago where someone's like, guys, I got this item. It says Assassin's Creed Odyssey. It's real. It's a, and there was a rumor that it was going to be based in ancient Greece. And then like the same day, uh, Ubisoft's Twitter account showed like a two second teasers being like, hey, we'll see at E3. Yes, it's Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Fine, you ruined it. I, you ruined it. More or less that. So we're going to see that. I don't yeah. think Ubisoft can you know, keep their secrets. Assassin's Creed especially, when you have development teams of a thousand people, one of them is going to have loose lips. And that means you're going to see like one picture or one like hearsay from someone and before you know it, it's out there. And with, because Assassin's Creed is also so big, there's a lot of marketing out there that someone's going to take True. a picture of. Now that well, they, I don't think that game's coming out this year. Its Origins came out last year. I hope they don't go back straight to annualization because they took one year break and they went, went nuts over it. A yearly again? Uh, uh, they have enough stuff that they could pad out this year and have Assassin's Creed next year. But we're definitely seeing it in D3. There's one game that I think that they should focus on this year because. The team had finished the game like two years ago. Yeah, what's that? That's Watch Dogs. Yeah, Watch Dogs. That would be nice, wouldn't it? That would be a great way to end it off with, hey, guys, Watch guess Dogs what? Watch Dogs 3. three. We know, the, uh, well, spoilers, the game ends within like zero people talking about like, oh, like something even bigger happening. Something bigger happening. And guess what, guys? That means a third game. Woo! The second one didn't do as well as the first. Which uh, is a shame because I actually like the second one more than the first. But Watch Dogs 3 being really announced uh, through some sort of teaser trailer or even a full reveal would also be something that Ubisoft would be willing to do. I don't think that's going to end it. They could end it. But uh, the Assassin's Creed could end Assassin's it. Assassin's Creed could end it. But uh, Watch Dogs 3 being announced at least for a 2019 release or even releasing this year would be a nice get from Ubisoft. I also have on the list here that's something from Natio, but I. Uh, they're the developers of Trackmania, but come to think of it, they haven't released anything in a while. I would love to see something from them, but I have a feeling that we're not going to see anything. From them. Sorry, I don't think so. Anyway, Ubisoft has a lot of potential to be great. Last year, they kind of dropped all these new things to us. We had no idea half of the games. That Maybe there's something for Mario's and Rabbids. Mario and Rabbids? They had a DLC to come out recently, or is coming out soon, so I don't think they're going to have that. They can't have Miyamoto on stage again. The man has already used up his credibility on that game. And it was a great game. It was a great reveal. And uh, we already know a good chunk of those games, so it's about selling us on the games that we already know, as I said at the beginning of the video. Yeah, as long as it's not just dance. As long as it's not just dance. You didn't answer the question, what dancing animal do you expect to see on Our stage? Our next discussion is going to be on Sony. I will find out.